How's it going, Reloaders and Shooters? Last week I fired the uh, Stiller 6.5 Greenmore on an AC AICS chassis. I replaced the knife force scope back on this rifle since I moved it to a different rifle. And I replaced it with a uh, different scope rings. So by doing that, uh, I had to verify all my dope from uh, 100 to 1000 yards or more if I had the time. So anyway, after I fired a couple of shot groups, I took that information from the chronograph and put it on the uh, Ballistics FTE um, because they had this update last month and I'm trying to verify and see if, if there's any difference or if it had any improvement or whatnot. Alright, so the very first shot landed right on a bullseye. So I was expecting that since it's a very short distance. So if you know if it didn't land in on, on the bullseye, something's wrong. Maybe my calculations or the data that I inputted had some, you know something wrong with it or what. But anyway, uh, the second shot uh, landed on the ninth ring, and the third shot landed on the seventh ring. Probably I got too excited. Uh, I haven't fired this rifle for a while, maybe four months, maybe five, maybe three, I can't remember. But it's been a while, and I've been shooting the Savage uh, rifle all the time, so I'm, you know, I'm more used to the, uh, the Accu Trigger than it is with the Jewel Trigger, which is really light. I think I had it set at four ounces right now, so quite light. I could I could set it to maybe two ounces, maybe three ounces. I'm not sure how much trigger pull that's on there right now, but it's really light. So anyway, um, I fired another shot group, which I tried to adjust, trying to raise it up, but I turned it down instead of up. So that's why you have that shot right there on the very bottom of the target. And I raised it up again and I don't want to waste any more time and ammo so I just base it off right off the bat right there uh, that's about an inch and a half to two inch shot group which is uh, a 200 yards that's about an, an MOA so um, I'm, I'm satisfied with that <clears throat> so at 300 yards uh, you just uh, take the information from the uh, ballistics FDE and you know, adjusted my scope from there, and with um, with this uh, seven, actually this is a seven inch or maybe four inch target. I believe four inch target. Let me verify here. So one, two, three. Yeah, four inch target. It actually landed right on the uh, the outer ring. So that's about three inch off at uh, 300 yards which is pretty decent and considering it was uh, yeah, it's a pretty good distance there so I landed on the top left so I adjusted it adjusted it way too much and landed on the bottom right of the target uh, I corrected it again and went up a little bit high a little bit which is that target right there on the bottom just right on top of that lash that, that I did I corrected a little bit more and it landed parallel to that uh, bullseye and I'm satisfied with that. So I made a correction off of that. <coughs> and guess what happened after I made that correction? Have you guys guessed it yet? Yep. So instead of turning it to the left, turn it to the right. So see that shot group right there on the right? <laughs> so after that I made a correction and I just doubled what I dialed and it landed right on the bullseye. So it was dead on. So from there I just keep shooting and shot four more rounds and made that shark group there which is uh, an inch to an inch and a quarter 
at 300 yards that actually is uh, is pretty good I'm very very pleased with that truck good thing I'm pretty sure the rifle can do a lot better than what I'm capable of so I know it's a shame I need more practice so anyway uh, towards the end of this video here I'll show you the uh, the targets again so yeah so lesson learned don't keep changing it changing your mind changing the uh, the, the rifle or the, the, the scope and the scope rings because every time you do that you're gonna mess up your uh, your dope so every time you do that you have to verify everything so y'all have fun reloading and shooting out there and see y'all next time